Dividing polynomials using synthetic division. What is a synthetic division? It is the shorthand of long division. So, instead na mag-long method kayo, pwede nating gamitin ang synthetic division. This method is applicable if the divisor is a binomial of the form x minus r. Let us have some examples. Divide 4x cubed minus 11x squared plus 8x minus 4 by x minus 2. Now, 4x cubed minus 11x squared plus 8x minus 4 is called the dividend, and x minus 2 here is our divisor. Before you divide, Equate first the divisor to 0, then solve for x. Our divisor is x minus 2. So we will write here, x minus 2 is equals to 0. Therefore, x is equals to 2. Ang gagawin nating divisor ngayon para sa synthetic division ay 2. Now, uh, see to it that the polynomial expression is arranged in descending order or in standard form. We have 4x cubed minus 11x squared plus 8x minus 4. Naka-arrange naman siya in decreasing powers of x. Write the numerical coefficient of each term. So we have 4, negative 11, positive 8, and negative 4. Next, bring down 4. Multiply 4 by your divisor 2. 4 times 2, positive 8. Then, uh, simplify. Negative 11 plus 8, we have negative 3. Multiply again. Negative 3 times 2, negative 6. Combine positive 8 and negative 6 is positive 2. Multiply 2 times 2 is positive 4. Then combine negative 4 and positive 4, we got 0. 0 here is called the remainder. So since the remainder is 0, it means there is no remainder. And positive 2 will be the constant term in our answer. Next to constant term is x to the first power, next to x to the first power is x square or x to the second power. So, therefore, our final answer or the quotient of 4x cubed minus 11x square plus 8x minus 4 divided by x minus 2 is 4x square minus 3x plus 2. Another example, divide 8x squared plus x to the 4th minus 2 by x plus 3. So, bago mag-divide, i-arrange muna sa standard form in decreasing powers of x. So, sa ating dividend, ang pinakamataas na exponent ay 4. So, una natin ilalagay ang x to the 4th power. Next to x to the 4th power is x cubed. Wala namang x cubed doon sa ating dividend. So, lalagyan natin ng 0. Plus, next is x square. So, meron tayong x square. So, 8x square. Next to x square is x to the first power. So, wala uling x to the first power sa dividend. Kaya, lalagyan natin ng 0. And next is the constant term which is negative 2, divided by x plus 3. Bago tayo mag-synthetic division, let us equate the divisor to 0, then solve for x. Our divisor is x plus 3 equals 0. Then, x is equals to negative 3. So, negative 3 ang ilalagay nating pang-divide sa synthetic division natin. Then, write 
the numerical coefficient of each term. So, sa x to the fourth, ang numerical coefficient niya ay 1. Next, 0. Then, positive 8. We have 0 and negative 2. Next step, bring down 1. Then, multiply. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Combine positive 0 and negative 3, negative 3. Multiply negative 3 times negative 3, positive 9. Combine positive 8 plus positive 9 is positive 17. Multiply again. Positive 17 times negative 3 is negative 51. Combine positive, okay, 0 and negative 51 is negative 51. Then multiply negative 51 times ne negative 3 is positive 153. Combine negative 2 and positive 153, your answer is positive 151. This positive 151 is our remainder. And negative 51 will be the constant term. Next to constant term is x to the first power. Next to x to the first power is x to the second power. And next to x to the second power is x cubed. So our final answer or the quotient is x cubed minus 3x squared plus 17x minus 51 plus the remainder 151 over the divisor x plus 3. Yung x cubed dito sa first term, hindi na nilalagay yung 1. Understood na yan na ang numerical coefficient niya ay 1. Example. Divide negative 21x squared minus 8 plus 30x to the 5th plus 29x minus 50x to the 4th by 3x minus 5. If you notice, the divisor, 3x minus 5, the variable in the divisor has a numerical coefficient. Okay, so before that, let us first arrange the dividend in standard form in the descending powers of x. Ang pinakamataas na exponent ay x to the 5th. So isulat natin 30x to the 5th. Next to x to the 5th is negative 50x to the 4th. Walang x cubed doon sa dividend, kaya lagyan natin ng 0x cubed. Next is negative 21x squared, then plus 29x, then the constant term which is negative 8. Tingnan natin ha, tingnan natin. Ang kanyang exponent, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, then constant term. Divided by 3x minus 5. Before we divide, let us first equate the divisor to 0. Then let us solve for x. The divisor is 3x minus 5. Equate to 0, 3x minus 5 is equals to 0. 3x is equals to 5, then divide both sides by 3, the value of x is 5 over 3. Yung 5 over 3, yun ang gagawin nating divisor para sa ating synthetic division. Then write the numerical coefficient of each term here. 30, negative 50, 0, negative 21, positive 29, and negative 8. So, kung napansin nyo, puro numerical coefficient lang ang nilagay dito. Then, bring down 30. So, paano mo imumultiply yung 30 doon sa 5 over 3? So, kung naaalala nyo, to multiply a fraction, you multiply numerator times numerator, denominator times denominator. Kaya, i-multiply muna natin yung 30 sa numerator. Tapos, i-divide natin sa denominator. So, we have 30 
divided by 5 is, eh no, 30 times 5 is 150. 150 divided by 3, we have positive 50. Then, ne combine negative 50 and positive 50, the answer is 0. Then, 0 times 5 over 3 is 0. Combine, 0 uli. 0 times 5 over 3, 0. Then, you co combine negative 21 and 0, the answer is negative 21. So, yung negative 21, i-multiply mo sa 5, then you divide by 3. So, the answer is negative 35. Combine mo yung positive 29 and negative 35, your answer is negative 6. Negative 6 times 5 is negative 30. Divided by 3 is negative 10. Combine negative 8 and negative 10, we have negative 18. Itong negative 18, yan ang ating remainder. Negative 6 here is the constant term. Next to constant term is x to the first power. Next to x to the first power is x squared. Then x cubed and x to the fourth power. So therefore, the final answer or our quotient is 30x to the fourth minus 21x minus 6 minus 18 over 3x minus 5. Eh, bakit hindi na sinulat yung 0x cubed, 0x squared? Kasi 0 na yan. So, ang standard form, ano yung tinuro ko nung una, sa standard form, hindi dapat 0 ang numerical coefficient. Kaya, kaya lang natin ginamit yung 0 para maayos natin yung pagkakasunod-sunod at hindi makalito ng exponent. So, that's all. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. This is Teacher Nati saying, Let us thank God for all the blessings that He has given us.